Hey, what's up everybody? Hitbox Dustin here, and I'm going to show you a super cool Dragon Ball Fighters special training mode layout that puts all the training mode commands right at your fingertips. So if you don't want to be reaching up here all the time to press uh, touchpad and then do training mode keys to do dummy recording this way, um, we have a button layout that literally goes touchpad reset, dummy record, and dummy playback. So you can have all of it without actually leaving your hand from your main interface. You don't have to be reaching back and forth. Uh, this, this works fine for when you're on the regular default mode, but what we did is we sacrificed a few buttons to make it so we don't have to move our hand all the time. So I play on six button here, so I'm not using my pinky buttons. So I'm gonna record with my pinky buttons. Um, there we go. And then I'm gonna play it back with my other pinky. And then I use this for air dashing, left and right and up, but I don't use down for anything in Dragon Ball Fighters, so I change that out for the touchpad button. So it's a slightly nerfed layout in that we traded these out for training mode commands, but it makes our life way easier when we're practicing. So obviously we're not gonna use this in a tournament or, or when we're doing online sets, but that's why we have it as one of the many profiles that you can save to your cross up. So let me show you. Uh, I'll show you what it what it actually looks like in the designer software, and then I'll show you how you can actually access it yourself to try it out. Because um, let's face it, if we spend a lot of time in training mode, we might as well really do it right and get the most out of it. So this is profile one. This is the default that your cross-up comes with. Uh, great layout. And then now this is a modification of that. I took out the down and I put the touchpad button for reset, and then L3 for record, R3 for playback. Uh, this is actually... I have it set on profile number two. So this is the center profile switch. If you, uh, let me hide this. On the left of your controller, there are profile switches. The top one is position one, and then there's a middle position, and then there's a third position. So what, what we did is I imported them and put it to where when I play, I'm always in the default position. And then when I train, I switch it to switch two, and then now I have the training mode button layout. Um, if you don't want to actually import it all the way, we have it already set up on P2 of the secret menu, so I recommend you try that out. Um, if you don't, don't know how to use the secret menu, check out the link below. It will link you to 1.06 to get this download, uh, to get this uh, designer software, and you can update your firmware, and we'll have instructions run for you how to try it out. It's already preloaded with P2. You hold that down while you plug in your controller, and it puts it in the third profile slot. Um, let me show you if you really want to get into it real quick. I'll just go through what I did here with putting it on profile two. I went settings, import, browse layouts, and here are all the training mode layouts we have right here. So DBFZ, and then I have a second one, which is DBFZ anime style. So we're going to import DBFZ. We're going to open it, send a designer. And now it's on profile two. Let's do the anime style. That's what this right here, I already have it in, but let's do it again. Import layout, browse layouts, and now we're going to go down and go DBFC anime style. So these are two different training mode layouts. Um, this one, the anime style swaps up and down. So you definitely would want to try that out. It's great for air dashers. That's why we call it anime style. And then we'll go save to controller. And I've already got them saved, so let me just show you real quick. Uh, let me hide this. Okay, so right now, Position one, everything is default, and I'm gonna go to position two. Now we have exactly what I was showing you before, where this is this is reset, this is dummy control and playback. And now I'm gonna go to position three, which now we have jump here, which lets us do all of our instant air dash stuff over here, and then training mode reset is down here. So you can actually do whatever you want and create whatever cool layout is, because these are just to get the ideas flowing. Um, if you wanted this to be something else, you just click on it, and then you can do direction buttons. You can have it be a D-pad button. You can have it literally be any button you want. So check it out. Make your own version of these training mode layouts, and then put them right there on your hot swap so that you can just go into training mode and figure out how to punish those neutral setups, uh, practice the combos, do your thing. Because when you train, train smart, train efficient. So that's what we're trying to do with cross-up, bringing the stick into the 21st century.